Star. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Kaitenjo here, and today, uh, wait, before I actually get starting to this Sky Striker video, I have to tell you that right now there is no echo, right? So while we were actually trying to fix this, we actually got prob we actually did it, but 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 then we experienced some technical difficulties. Okay, mic check. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Jack, you want to check your mic? Okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Strange part is that the microphone wasn't even plugged in. It was the worst night of our lives. And yes, but at least there is no echo right now, right? Okay, so we are here with a not that great bad hand and against this ABC our old rivals. So yes, let's get right into it. And of course we will draw the ray and we open no sky striker spell cards wait now why am i even showing this replay i mean this was bad i mean he didn't even play kagaru free life bags after burners gozaki and banish that we do not want him like linking it off or something else and then Shizuku can add us a second Sky Striker spell card, which is Hornet Drones. If both of our, um, if both, if he just wipes out our monsters, Hornet Drones is like an insurance. And we draw a Duster. Okay, whatever. back everything and we draw the mystic mine Ugh. you don't draw anything good plus we open two lancia the good part is and uh, the good part is he opened a bad hand I opened a not that great hand so I, th I think that's pretty fair to be honest Then the mystic mind lock, there's nothing you'll do until we draw something. Plus, it is just a good card because because of stuff. The bad part about Sky Strikers is it's a pretty boring deck. It's a heavy control deck. God damn it, how much turns do we have in this freaking replay by the way if you activate mystic mine all you you will draw is just bricks i do not know why but that's just all you draw and we open finally one good card we just need one more lot of disparity Perfect, we'll get the ray, and the top deck is obviously ray. And you're just going to bench that, I do not care. But, yeah, taking control of his monster is nice. We can pop him to search something. Then, we bait out something with Kagari. Attack. And set 3 pass turn. We have a metaverse just for a bluff. There can only be one, it's not a bluff if they pop this one. The window archer is nice. But yes, the spell effect is won't work because of the buster trick, and I did not actually think of that. Finally, something good, and the shark cannon was actually a better one. 
and for some reason I thought that I could just take it but because of the there can only be one I could not take it I just could banish it and obviously I'll put the Lancia on the wall so that you won't banish anything for the rest of his busters And I just drew the evenly so I was pretty confident for some reason. This is such a long boring duel. I mean we all know that I'll win anyways but seriously. By the way the, if you don't know the afterburners, if you have 3 spell cards in your graveyard he pops a monster, then can pop a spell card. So you can also sometimes pop that there can only be one if it is a standing in the way with afterburners. And I just want to deal some damage, so yeah, why not? And also, yes, the area zero can also sometimes pop you, there can only be one. This is this is gonna be such a long video. Okay, now we got the juice. Zeki banish, then mobilize. I actually popped my own set card to pop his monster. So. Yes, some place you just have to discover them, but I'll just put some there for you. Well, at least most of them. And a second buster, <laughs> why not, right? Ray summon herself back. By the way, she looks lit. This is just an infinite loop right now. Appaloosa for 4. And I'll completely destroy him. I don't care. Oh, I actually normal summon Zenibiru. Wait, is that what happened? Sorry, I was... I, was, I am so scatterminded by the way. Goodbye then. Set one. As turn. The Hornet Thrones. Then the Shark Cannon. This is getting so freaking boring. The bad part is this guy cannot attack, so. That's an issue with, uh, what's his name, the shark cannon. 39 turns, 40 turns. Yes, and I just keep banishing his cards. I do not know why I saved this replay. I do not know why I didn't scoop in the middle of this replay. Is it because I was like, ah, he beat me in game one. I have to destroy him game two or something like that. The only reason I play Needle Fiber is because I play the Ghost Girls and I also play, um, what was his name again? Uh, Effect Wheeler. Yes, you go Effect Wheeler and Needle Fiber, go into Celine, the Queen of the Mighty Master Magicians, uh, then she can bring back um, the Wheeler, then link them off for Access Card Talker. And access code is going to have like a hell negate. I mean a hell pops. Like five pops or four. Add the mystic mind since this is dragoon. And we'll all 
so set the shark cannon since we can bring it back with uh, Kagari if we got the ray or the rose and negate two cards with impermanence search summon ray and he salamence our ray wait i got mystic mind he's going to summon a dragon no way i'm going to show you this replay Except if, oh, it's just 13, um, 13 turns. I'm just gonna put it at 10. Turn 10. What? This is W2F, man. Okay, he have 1,000 life points more than us. And because of the Mystic Mind, he cannot actually activate Dragoon. Man. And uh, by the way, I was just going to ban something, but after that, I discovered that if I do that, and when I summon a second monster, I cannot do anything. I was actually just going to keep going until. This one reads for 1500, but then that will be too much. Okay, so Sky Strikers versus Dragna. He got everything. He got Alistair. He got Blurred Les. He got Triple Tactical Talents. He got Imperm. This is just too much. We got Metaverse. Okay, and we got a bunch of follow ups. Activate the Mystic Mine again. To be honest, if I was in his shoes, I would actually um keep this in. I mean, keep the invocation in hand. Go Zaki, Zaki banish uh, Dragma. Pop our own mystic mind and his flat board, just like Sakura. We set the dimensional barrier, so you can already know that this is game two. Okay, so what dimensional barrier does is declare one um, monster card type ritual fusion synchro axis or pendulum for the rest of this turn. Neither players can special summon monsters of the declared type. Also negates the effect of all monsters and in that type well there are on the field you can only activate one dimensional barrier. Okay, so this card is completely unfair if you're facing pendulums. This is like the perfect card for pendulums. They Oh uh, wait, no, they can actually might master negate this. Okay, if they do not negate and that is a big if. If they do not negate this, they are you are facing a bad pendulum player. Because pendulums are actually the hardcore of the deck. Like they are in the hands, they are in the field, they are everywhere, they are in the extra decks, in the GY if you exceed summoned with them, or if you discarded them. And the shark cannon. And attack the Alistair's invoked instead of attacking directly. Shizuku at the Window Archer. To be honest, I heard some people say Widow Anchor. Is that its nickname or something? Widow Anchor? And here. Here, of course, summons a Mr. Popper. And we. <laughs> We actually bring back Sasuke. Ah, 
How much turn is this replay again? Since the Sky Strikers is actually a heavy control deck, it's kind of slow. When I'm in slow, it takes a lot of turns to win, but setting up a field is not that slow. If you have the spell cards, of course. And wait, what? He opened invocation. So, can't he activate it right now? Eh, hell no, bro, hell no. And he keeps the Ecclesia because Ecclesia cannot be destroyed by monsters from, I guess, a different dimension. By different dimension, I mean the extra deck. So, I beat you with your own monster. Wait, what? I said, oh no. I mean, in the title. 28 turns, uh, hell no. I'm just going to skip for, I don't know, 24. Wait. What? He doesn't have anything on the field. He have six cards in his hand. And by the way, he has an... This is in... Wait, what? Why didn't he set this? Okay, he also plays the Shadow cards. By the way, it will be so disappointing if I'm not recording my audio. I mean, since I'm recording with my PC. And this is just fantastic that two hardcore of the deck sorry rose sorry sky striker ace rose the two hardcore part of the decks actually manage to beat each other up and the winner will be sky striker ray she is the bay and yes okay so we are here online duel against egyptian Dogs. Sorry. Egyptian dark cards. Okay, so Thunder Force attack. I do not know why these cards are actually not available in my EDO Pro. I mean, right now they are saying like question marks, but when I searched for Thunder Force attack, it actually came with me came to me and it's all juicy effects but something like the add ignister new supports um come on some other supports just doesn't come it's so freaking annoying he's actually playing really good I had the Widow Anchor and the Zero can only be one, so goodbye every Aqua Monster on the field. And he still managed to summon the Ra. But we managed to decrease it. And happily, he just have 100 life points, so if we draw a Ray or a Rose, we can do it. And we have Hornet Drone, so go Kagari, add the Shark Cannon, attack for game, bro. Okay, this time it was 6 turns, surprisingly. Oh no, the, I think that was game 3. This is game 2. Or is this game 1? So, just 2 interruptions with a bunch of follow-ups. Mothman. Wait, I... Oh, okay, the reason that I searched for the jamming waves is because he sets a lot of cards. 
and I was pretty sure that was exchanging souls. Yes, exchanging souls for the nuts. The nuts means a 4000 attack feed stick that while summoned we can't do anything. Uh, I remember in the past when these cards were so broke like oh my god he, is, he got his level 10 divine beast monster on the field it's so broken oh my god I think I'm going to wait myself mm, and right now they're like uh, whatever he got a level 10 divine beast monster who cares bro I have a freaking dragoon that can out everything it's just like that well, not exactly, but it is just like that, right? Okay, the second um, reprint of Raw. The good part is this card cannot be destroyed by battle, but she still managed to pop it. Add the afterburners, destroy that. GG Nori for, I don't know, maybe 3 or 4 turns. This is Cast Riders, it just deals a small damage like glimpse, glimpse, except if he summons um, the access code talker. And we destroy it because uh, Metal Reflect Slime says that this card is also still a trap card. And the Duster can actually destroy any spells and traps on the field. So let's see. Okay, so the rest of the replays are actually shorter. Okay, so he actually opens a Gamma. What are the odds? And what are the odds of like getting an evenly match? Oh, so he used the gamma. I was confused with another replay or yes, another game, I suppose, because he actually managed to gamma, but we asked him. When I mean we, I mean me. And one day, you, my friend, might also do that. In your dreams. I might have lame jokes, but I do have some juicy stuff, don't I? He summons El Shadol Construct. From the moment he dropped it on the field, I was like, I am going to take that and take that. Since it cannot attack directly, we are completely safe. Well, partially safe. No, completely safe. This here can only be one is just so useful. And we also draw the one of Lancia. that I do not know why I banished that I think that I just want to deal damage and was bored of something but then I discovered that I already am in main phase 2 activate window take that and then he can't do anything but he have like seven monsters no, over 9,000 monsters. Okay, so El Shadow Winda.
and we activate that just in case because we we all lose if we didn't activate this i mean he have two 2500 month attack monsters and he didn't get anything good so he just uh, scooped that was completely annoying but oh well right okay so this time this is a 13 turn that will be boring but at least this duel is actually worth it I really do some good stuff here so this time we actually have less interruptions we just have the shark cannon and an ash blossom I completely forgot that was playing Valkyria and he also had a floodgate neither players can a special summon except for light monsters and my only light monster I have is actually Ray and so I couldn't just like link off or something link off or something this floodgate is so bad for me but happily I still got there there can only be one and he chose to keep the Angel Val Valkyria and uh, if you negate the activation of his pillar trap pod one carry monster okay and he got his Solomon strike so he actually played a very annoying deck why is it annoying because it have counter spell card I'm mean, trap cards you cannot chain anything after a counter trap card so this I actually told him during the duel that he have counter trap cards which makes the chain link less or at least one chain link or two yes two chain link uh, one chain link doesn't make that much sense but yes he he makes it two chain links and I mix it over like over nine chain links not over nine thousand just over nine chain links chain links something because activate a spell activate a spell activate monster he activates something to negate that monster activate a spell to counter that spell that no that won't work here counter trap cards are just too overpowered for this deck and we are, I actually popped that on purpose to summon something but the bad part is I had a monster controlled but that's not that bad since Zeki is in the game and we this this deck just puts a lot of follow-ups And the Shizuku's effect actually saved me there because, and he, he, of course, he has the honest. Honestly, this is so bad. And the Kina's effect to he cannot attack or target a monster, and that monster cannot attack is actually very useful because in one of my duels, I actually have done that to Fleur de Lez. And for uh, the El Shadow, what is called El Shadow Construct, I actually showed that replay. Sometimes Kina just saves you. I do not know why he did that, but oh well. I mean, he didn't have anything, and next turn he'll just draw the Divine Punishment, so he'll lose anyways, but oh well. Okay, so this time I'm actually dueling the same guy. And he said 3 and past turn, oh my god. With counter the trap cards. And 2 Solomon warnings. I actually managed to pop one, but still this is too much. I mean, even for a Sky Striker player. Metaverse activates that
to be honest, I actually remember in a duel where I said four or three something like that. Then he actually draws the nuts and activates the what was it called again? Mm, lightning storm. Yes, he actually lightning storm me, and I had metaverse. So I actually activated the mystic mine instead of activating the area zero because area zero when it gets destroyed we can actually special summon one sky striker ace monster from our deck so i actually should have done that but i actually did not bring that replay i just forgot i thought to sh i thought of showing it to you but then oh well Hope the ban list actually gets out today because I cannot actually do anything tomorrow. And actually, oh my God, Tori Tori Meadows card actually gets useful. Tori, that's pretty surprising if you ask if you ask me. And he surrendered because I actually got a ray. Ray can summon the Kagari. Kagari can... I don't know, summon something. By the way, um, in this duel, he actually banished my only Ray in the graveyard. I was so mad for some reason. It actually offended me. Who can banish this beauty? Okay, so... No more replays. Just go to the deck profile. Okay, so this is the deck profile. So, I actually think that I just have to explain the ratios, but... Uh, oh well. So one rose. Surprisingly, you don't need more than one. Just I uh, yes, you don't need more than one. If you want to play two, just put something out for for a second rose. But it is not as useful as Ray because this card can just special summon itself. Then go Zaki. Zaki can I don't know ban something. Then do stuff. So I just I I guess that one is just perfect too. If you just have the second one in hand, it it just stands there. I mean, it just sits there. I mean, it just stands there because she's standing there. And then yes, just one is enough. Okay. Okay. Then there is three ash, one wheeler. The only reason I play wheeler is just for the access code play summon needle fiber using one of your ghost girlies then uh go into Celine Celine gets counters remove three counters summon back the effect wheeler summoned by needle fiber then finally go to access code access code access code takes three gains three thousand attack he will have one pop with banishing Celine, one pop with needle fiber or with Shizuku, one pop with Kagari, one pop with Ki Kiana or Kaina, I don't know, China, I don't know. Then one pop with Hayate, and that's uh, five pops in total, so that's just great. And this Ningirsu is just to out a dragoon if. Only if Dragoon doesn't get banned because this is like the only out for Dragoon you have. The only out you have for Dragoon except for the Tripper Tactical Talents, um, evenly matched. And I don't know, sometimes there can only be one can be useful. Um, the Metaverse can also activate Mystic. Thick mine, go into Zaki, Zaki gains attack. I actually showed that in one of the replays, didn't I? And yes, except for, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, around 6 out for the Dragoon, you need this. It's like the only out for the Dragoon in the extra deck. Okay, so moving out from the jokes, um, 2 Lightning Storms, this is a green second deck, so... Uh, I guess this card can be useful. Triple tactical talent, outside dragoon. So, who doesn't like drawing two or 
looking at your opponent's hand and choosing one card to shuffle it into the deck or taking control of one monster our opponent controls without targeting who doesn't like doing that okay so then, uh, next we have one jamming waves and one afterburner so uh, I don't know I guess one I guess just one is enough because yes uh, yes one is just enough okay so we play like uh, one two three four um five five four uh, six seven eight yes let's just say we play eight monsters in our decks because yes eight monsters in the deck okay let's go um one harpy's feather duster uh, we actually main deck it instead of siding it out because uh, we do not want to lose game one even though we can completely do a massive comeback in game two but I don't know if you are actually facing some kind of combo deck we can actually side the harpy's phaser duster out for I don't know Lancia or draw or forbidden droplet and yeah it's nice and pancreatops a basic staple it's it's very useful to bait out negates then to go to other place and wipe our opponent's board with the rest of the spell cards or access code and then there is terraforming yes it searches for mystic mine cave or area zero then mobilize and hornet drones we actually play one because of the reason that you do not need to play more than one and not because it's it's limited by the way i'm just joking i'm just joking okay let's see something else too in uh, let's see how much hand traps we play one two three four five six seven eight eight uh, no, nine, nine hand traps, okay. So, Lancia, you can just put this out for, I don't know, maybe a third evenly matched, but you're not sure what you're facing, so, uh, yes, just play one uh, artifact Lancia there, just, it's just, it's there. Plus, there, even in, even if you are playing some, in some kind of, I don't know, combo deck that doesn't banish, but plays Desires, if you saw Desires, just activate our Artifact Lancia, so you do not use Artifact Lancia for decks that banish, because it's like the main strategy. You can also negate the Pot of Desires and Pot of Disparity and Pot of Extravagance, so I don't know, trap decks like Eldritch, Wait, no, Eldritch actually banish as in main core. Um, I don't know, some trap decks that... Uh, trap tricks, yes, trap tricks banish for... And dinos, dinos also banish, so... Yes, Artifact Lancia is just a basic staple. And Relinquish Anima, uh, I don't know. It, it just sounds useful because Effect Wheeler is one. So, yes, it's nice. And the Hornet Drones actually summons a level 1 token, so you can actually go to, into Anima if you are out of the Sky Striker link place. So it's just good there, and yes, I think that wraps it up for the main deck. Okay, so Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice, you need to play at least one. If you do not play Pot of Avarice in this deck, I do not know what's wrong with you. I actually play two Pot of Avarice because of the Pot of Disparity. Pot of Disparity can actually search for Pot of Avarice and it just goes there. Next, um, we have one Anima, three Shizuku, three is necessarily, it is necessarily necessary because it just searches every turn, every three turns if you do not activate the uh, Pot of Avarice, we just play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We play 10 spells of the Sky Strikers. No, 
I don't know, just some number like that. I'm not gonna count that because if I mix a video any longer, I'll have to upload. The time that it will take to upload will be longer. Then we have three Kag I'm two Kagari. If Dragoon is banned, just if Dragoon is banned or the Red Ash Fusion is banned, put one uh, Ningirsu out for the third and final Kagari. As a, if you do, I see some decks that just play one Kagari. What the? Uh, sorry, the censorship there. I am not allowed to say some words like F U C K. Okay, then Kiana, uh, one is just good. Then there is a uh, Hayate. Uh, Hayate is not something that searches, it is it just sends to the graveyard for the second effect of the other uh, quick play or the other Scott Striker card this to activate and for the Kagari to add from add them from the graveyard to the hand. So yes, keep in mind the Kagari is still useful. Put one in Girso out for the third Kagari if you want. And if Dragoon is not banned. And if Dragoon is banned. If it's not banned, this Ningirsu is like the only out for the Dragoon in the extra deck. Then there is one Nightmare Phoenix for back row decks. I mean, not like we play enough back row removals. I mean, even Jamming Waves and Afterburners have back row removals, but if you do not have access to the main deck out for back row decks, uh, having one in the extra deck is just fine. Zaki. Any monster you take control with uh, Window Archer or with Shark Cannon will go to Zaki's and Zaki ban is something, I don't know, maybe pop your Annoying Floodgates or pop your Mystic Mine to gain some attack then attack or just link it off for something else like Hayate then attack our opponent just like point directly and yes I think that wraps it up for the main deck and the extra deck guys so the side deck i don't know the three nibiru for combo for heavy combo decks uh, two more lands he has to fill the gap three draws because of i don't know dry rounds not only dry rounds just any deck that searches too much then there is two forbidden droplets because it is a spell card and it can actually send your other spell cards to negate something then your other spell cards in the hand will get live and a third evenly match to complete the to complete your three off circle and dimensional barrier is just fantastic and one more red reboot for uh, back row decks and yes that is just it for the TCG and I actually have the OCG version too. So OCG players, uh, wait, this is a TCG ban list, and Engage is actually Engage. Yes, Engage. Engage is actually banned in the TCG. So in the OCG, this is what it looks like. It's actually a two of, and Window Archer is also a two of. Um, Sky Striker Kagari is a one of. So since the uh, one of Kagari is out, I mean since the second Kagari is out in the OCG, we can play a second Zaki. I couldn't think of anything else. I do not play the Utopia double like package with a Utopia and a Utopia double add something for I don't know a ten thousand attack monster. I'm not kidding. It said ten thousand attack monster. And yes, that is just it. So just put the two triple tactical talents out for the to engage. And the only reason why the OCG is better is because the to engage. And luckily, they have Mystic Mind. Yes, they actually have Mystic Mind down to one. The TCG must do that and put the Mystic Mind down to one too. And yes, the rest is just a rest, but yes, I'm a TCG player, so this is just what it looks like. So, hope you enjoyed, guys. And yes, I cannot 
actually makes a ban list prediction video if it won't be out by I don't know maybe 12 right now and because tomorrow I have an actually an exam so hope and wish me luck by the way I will need it because I actually had three days to study for the exam no four five five days to study for that exam and I still didn't touch it but yes uh, term one I actually had an average of I believe it was 82.9 out of the 11 uh, lessons we learn and that's actually not bad huh yes I am actually a smart nerd but with no glasses and I'm like Shikamaru I'm completely lazy but I'm not that smart and yes that's basically it so hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and I'll see you next time peace